gentlemen and sisters, welcome, welcome back, back to Live, live from the, the Red, red Carpet at, at the Orange, Orange British, British Film Academy. Academy Awards. Do get it. You are much better. Thank God you were here. <laughs> I knew Judy when she was a tiny, tiny child <laughs> at the Royal Shakespeare Company. You were just beginning. I think I must have been. You were. You were in Comedy of Errors. You were adorable. I don't ever remember you in the Comedy of Errors. I was not in Comedy of Errors. I watched Comedy of Errors. Okay, please. I was trying to ingratiate myself. But we know many people who were in Comedy we of do. Errors. We do. We do. And we had a nice time doing it, didn't we? Yes. And then, of course, did you expect this to happen? I didn't. I didn't no, expect I, I would have a film career. No. So, what, what, yeah, I mean, what's happened to us? I don't understand. <laughs> How has this happened? You, well, you were very good in another life. <laughs> what was the first job that you had in the film? Who put you in there? I know you did Macbeth on stage, and then suddenly, whoosh, you were an actor yes, on but, film. No, it was uh, it was Mrs. Brown and That's right. Harvey Weinstein. And you were very on my bum, of course. Yes. Harvey Weinstein. And yes. was Billy you know, Connolly amusing on that set? Simply wonderful. Very, very entertaining. Not only entertaining, but very good. And he showed you his nipples. Oh yes, we got, we got really <laughs> tired of seeing his nipples. <laughs> that was his party. <laughs> it's good though. Who? What about Daniel Craig? Was he amusing? Don't start that. No, really. tell me. No, was he funny? That, he's extremely funny and fantastically good to work with. Oh, I bet. Were the nipples shown? Because no, the... I saw nothing of him. Okay. Contrary to what the press said. Oh, did they say I didn't? No, I have no idea. And who was the most amusing leading man? I think Michael Gambon, but it may have been some, or Kenneth Branagh. Any of those, yes. really? Because I know you're very famous for for losing well, control. Yes, yes, it's not got any better, I'm afraid. <laughs> Alas. Alas, I know, but at least they can do retakes. We have to, yes, thank goodness they can. The live performance is tricky, you know. Yeah. And as M, I suppose, let's ask about that. But let's not go to M. I liked M, but you in Notes of a Scandal, how disturbed was that woman? How, I mean, does it hurt to play somebody that lonely and upset and alienated? I mean, or, or I mean, it was, it was, it hurt. It doesn't hurt to play, you know. You you know you know what it's like. Your mind's taken up on thinking, um, am I pressing the right buttons? Is this what Uchide wants me to do? And if, if it's not, then will you please tell me? You know, you just get through it, and you hope that at the end you you make up a a real person. It was a real. It was too. It was agonizing. But I'm sure all the people like that out there are just thanking you and rooting for you. And there's more of them than there are us glamour people who are only dressed up for the evening and then we go back to being them. I know. You have very lovely it's earrings. Great, great. Are they yours? Thank you very much. Lorna, not so bad. No, we, no. We're both we're of us are borrowed. <laughs> I'm they're going to rip on them borrowed, out of our yes. <laughs> Good luck. Thank Miss you. Dame, I knew her when she was a child and now look at her. God bless you, my queen. And this is the lovely Richard Eyre who directed it. Okay, I got a link to John. Many hosts would be frightened <laughs> by the next segment oh, no. of our show. Ruby, that's